Hi, this is Eric from datafeeder.com. Thanks for checking out the Ads by Datafeeder plugin. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a couple ads and how to show those ads in a text widget in your sidebar. So let's begin. So here I am in the um, you know, WordPress admin control panel. I'm going to go down to the ads menu item and click that. And you can see I already have uploaded 10 ads. Um, I've uploaded a few images and some, a few text ads. So we'll be going through, we're gonna add one more uh, banner ad, image ad, and we're gonna add one more text ad. So let's, we'll go over and click the add new ad link in the menu. And here I'm gonna put in a banner ad. I'm gonna add the media. So I'm going to add this uh, this link here, or this banner. Here, in what it links to, I'm going to have it linked to a custom URL, and I'm going to grab this URL. Copy that. And paste it in there. And the size will be the full size. Um, that you can configure that to whatever you want. And then I'm going to click insert into post. So what that does is insert all the HTML that you need to display the ad. Um, just a quick note, this is just the ad title for your reference. And this is the HTML. This is the entire ad that will display on your site. This could be uh, an image like we're doing now. It could be a text ad like we're we'll doing next. It could also be um, a Google AdSense ad or even um, uh, a YouTube video or some embed code and really you can put whatever you want in here it's uh, just add your HTML there um, <clears throat> you can also group your ads so I'm gonna because this is a banner ad it's 150 by 150 pixels I'm going to choose the sidebar um, group you can add additional groups and I'll show you the groups page here in a minute additionally you can set a date range that this ad should appear within so you can set it so that it appears in within all of March. So we can set it to appear from March 1st to March 31st. Um, you can also set it for a few months or I can set it to display for the rest of the year. Uh, if you leave it blank, it will display forever. The impression limit um, is the number of times the ad gets displayed on your site. If you leave this blank, it'll display forever. There's no limit. Or you can set it up to have your ad display up to 100,000 times or 50,000 times or 2,000 times, whatever you want. So I'll put in 100,000. And so now after this ad displays 100,000 times on my site, it won't get displayed anymore. Again, these the date range and impression limits are optional. So if you leave them blank, um, no limits will be imposed on your ad and they'll display until you actually take them down. All right, so I've set up my ad. I'll go ahead and um, click publish. And I'm gonna, uh, let's go back out to the ads page here and we can see here's my new ad. See it has zero impressions and the limit there and the start and end dates. Let's create one more text ad. This is going to be a, um, a data feeder ad. And this I'm going to just type in. I'm going to put in strong tags. You could also use, if, if you want, you could use th these. Well, let's just do that. Um, click that. And then we'll add a link. I'm going to have a link to datafeeder.com and open in a new window, add the link, and then we need to add the text. And then we need to also close our strong tag. And then after that, data feeder makes it easy to add a store to your WordPress blog. All right, so that's it. And this is a text ad, so I'm actually gonna put this in my ads ads for posts group. Um, I could also create a new group here called just plain old text ads. Add new group and select ads for posts as well. I'm not going to put any time limits or, or impression limits on this and then I'm going to click publish. Let's go back and see it. 
Yep, here it is, and there's no impression limit, and it starts immediately and never ends. And it's in the as for post and text ad groups. Um, okay, so let's. Uh, oh, I want to show you one last thing. Groups. You can see the groups we have set up here, and then you can also view the ads within each group, and you can create more groups here. All right, down to settings. Um, so now we need to configure um, the, the short code to put in our text widget so it appears in our sidebar. So let's take a look at our page. <clears throat> here's our really boring web page. We have one post and one page, and here's our sidebar. It's pretty much a vanilla install of WordPress. So I'm going to go down to uh, settings, ads. Now, by default, um, text widgets uh, in WordPress don't uh, display short codes. They don't render short codes. So if that's the case for you, you and you want to display an ad uh, within uh, one of your widget areas, then you need to enable short codes in your text widget. So just go ahead and click that and save the changes. Next. Um, <clears throat> we need to generate the code to display our ads. So we have quite a few options. So I've, we've made a, uh, a generator for you so that um, you can quickly configure uh, the ads that you want to display. So what type of code do you need? So we're going to be putting it into a text widget right now. So we just need a short code. So after you click that, um, it'll create this, the basics of, the, of what you need in terms of a short code. Um, and actually right now it's, pulling ads from all groups. Um, I'll, I'll leave that. Um, well, let's go ahead and put in uh, sidebar ads and uh, text ads. So you can put in two. And we'll let's say we'll display three ads and we'll order them randomly. And we'll ignore the rest of this stuff for right now. So now it's created the short code for me here. And basically all I need to do is just click inside that yellow box and it'll select the entire short code for me. And I'll go up to edit and copy. And then I'm gonna go over to appearances and widgets and I'm just gonna open that into a new tab. Now um, I'm gonna drag a text widget to my main sidebar widget area and I'll give it a title. And then I'm going to paste in what I just copied. And that's our short code there. Now after we save that, we'll go back to our page and refresh. And there are our ads. So we have the title of the widget area, it's advertisements. And we have uh, two banner ads, which are the uh, sidebar ads. And then we have one of the text ads. And I set it to display randomly, so once I click Re reload, it displays uh, two, different, two more banners and the same text ad. Now it's just three banners and a banner text and banner, and you get the idea. So now we've configured, out, configured how to, uh, to, to, to or what to display and how to display it. And we have a lot more options that I'll cover in, in um, further screencasts. But for now, um, that's how you set up or set up your short code and, and add it to uh, your widget so that you can get some ads displaying in your widget areas.